Hi and welcome to our Chris Dingle service which we originally did on Zoom and you'll see some clips of that later. Um, you'll need um, an orange, some red ribbon, four cocktail sticks, some sweets, a white candle and something to light the candle with if you haven't already got that ready before doing the rest of the video. I hope you enjoy the explanation, um, the making of the Christingle itself um, and then the, seeing the video of people having made their Christingles, lighting them and turning out the lights at home to remind us that Jesus is the light of the world who shines in the darkness. Today we are going to make something delicious that reminds us of the meaning of Christmas and God's love to us. It is called a Christingle, which means Christ's light. A long time ago, there was a man of God called John, a bishop of the church, who lived in what was called Moravia and is now the Czech Republic. He spent much of his time telling people about how much God loved them. But he was a man ahead of his time and knew that children, and in fact adults, need a good visual way to remember things. So John prayed that he might have a good idea and that is exactly what God did. Such a good idea that it's still used a lot today. We see an orange, round and full of goodness and sweetness, just like the world God originally made. Then we see a red ribbon around it. This reminds us that his love stretches all around the, the earth, that he loves everyone, everywhere. We have an example here of the Chris Tingle we are all going to make shortly. But first, we're going to explain what it all means. God made the world and God said it was good. He then poured out all his gifts on the beautiful world he created. He gave it light and water and sky. He gave it plants of all sorts, every seed bearing thing, trees and flowers. He then made the sun and moon to mark out the seasons and he formed stars into space, giving light and beauty. Then he created swimming things and flying things like dolphins and fish and octopus and owls and bald eagles and robins. And God made animals of all kinds. He gave us leopards, sheep, bearded dragons, elephants and dogs. And God gave us humans. God gave these gifts to the world and to us, and he gave us people to enjoy them and look after them, and for us to enjoy each other's company and look after each other. What a lot of giving! So, if you're watching this Chris Tingle with people at home, and if you're not, and you're on your own, but you are looking at the screen now and seeing all the different people that are on the screen, just remember each and every one of them are God's gift to you. Even, occasionally maybe, if you don't think so. So in our Christingle that we will make, God's gifts will be represented by all the sweets we put on cocktail sticks, representing the four corners of the earth, and the four seasons, representing God's love in every aspect of our world and our year. But some people forgot they were supposed to be generous givers, just like God, as we are made in his image, and they started grabbing greedily for themselves.
But that is not how God made the world to be. We had changed and some people started to do really bad things like kill and steal and lie. So God realized he needed to save the world, to make it beautiful and loving again. So he sent Jesus to light up the world and show how they could change from being greedy grabbers to generous givers, to light up every situation of darkness, whether through violence, greed or addiction or loneliness or sickness. In our small Christingles we're making, we will use a candle on top as a symbol of the light of the world. But there is even more than that. Jesus knew that the only way to give God's love to everyone in the world, to take the punishment for everything wrong people were doing, to start afresh, was to die on a cross for us all. This way, he defeated evil and showed us a new way forward of love. Because he said the greatest way that you could show your love for anyone was to die for them. So now we all have his love and forgiveness, and he asks us to share it around with everyone near and far. But he has created us to be like Jesus, to be generous givers, and to be a light shining in the darkness, like Jesus is himself a light to all. Have you all got an orange? Okay, that's really great. Does your orange sit nicely when you put it on your plate? If it doesn't, then you might just need to cut a little bit off the bottom of your orange to make it nice and flat. Mine's actually really good because it's already very nice and flat. So that's the important bit. You need to make sure that it's not going to all topple over. The thing that we remember is the fact that the orange is like the world, the goodness of the world, just as there's the goodness of the orange. And we're going to look at doing what God does, which is that he wraps the world round with all of his love. And so hopefully in your little pack, you will have got some red tape and you just need to look at getting some red tape and wrapping it around your orange right in the middle. So I'm just going to cut a little bit off because I've got a whole roll here. And look at wrapping it all the way round. In the middle. Stuart and Carol, are you doing yours? You already done yours. If when you've um, wrapped your love around, God's love around, just show it so that I can see that we're all up to speed. Thank you very much, Jenny and Pete, Pat, Chandra and Roger and Carol, the Joneses. Who have we got left? Ruth, Graham, thank you very much. Graham and Benice are on track. Marilyn and Matt are on track and Darren you're on track that's excellent the boys are now on track at yep Braxton Ryan everyone Ruth are you on track Sheila 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 okay well, that's fine right so the next bit that we're going to do is the bit unless like me you've eaten well done ruth you've made it excellent yay is we're going to do the put on the the four corners of the world and the four seasons with all the fruits all the gifts that god has given us so you need your four cocktail sticks this is the fun bit as i said if you haven't already eaten your dolly mixture or your sweets which i have to say i was eating a lot of them and you need to be skewering those onto your cocktail sticks. Be careful of these, um, young Ryan and Brax particularly. If your dolly mixture falls apart, don't worry, just eat it. 
and just taking God's goodness into you straight away. So we want to do up four, however many you want to put on there. I'm not sure how many you, you've got on there. I just look at putting three or, or so on there. Mm, yeah, see mine's all falling apart. I'm going to have to eat them all. <laughs> this is fun. I'm enjoying doing this. I don't know about you. All of God's good gifts. I have to get some more Dolly mixture now. I'm cheating. I got a whole bag. Because our God is a generous, abundant God. How are we doing? And then we stick them into the four corners near the top here. Like a little Sputnik, I always think. How are we doing? Have we all got our Sputniks? If you want to just raise them up once you've finished thank you so we can see some of you are still carrying on excellent judy and bernice and graham and stuart and carol jenny and pete and gary the adams family there who else have we got matt how are you doing darren well done judy is eating i'm not sure what she's eating <laughs> probably eating more dolly mixture like i am it's very tough being a presenter of castingles you have to test drive all of the the bits to make sure that they are just as good as god intended them to be now we're going to be ready to do the bit now um if you be very careful if you're over a certain age, this will be fine. If you're under a certain age, like 60, be careful with sharp objects. But you want to just cut a little of a, a cross in the top of your orange, okay? It'll make it easier just to put your um, candle in. And then we're going to look at putting in the candle. I'm actually having trouble with mine. Now, you will have received, I think, a little piece of foil to look at putting on the top and then pushing in with the candle underneath it. So it will catch any drips of that. Um, I'm not going to worry about that because I've got mine on a, a lovely plate here and it'll catch it anyway. And with the wax, um, I'm going to be fine. I don't think I'm going to worry about the wax dripping on me. But the idea of putting the foil there first is to catch any hot wax, particularly if the children are going to be holding their Christingle. I've got a slightly bigger candle perhaps than you have. So I might need to make a bigger hole just so that you could see it more easily on screen. I'm going to macerate this now. <laughs> there we go. To you god is light in him there is no darkness at all if we claim to have fellowship with him yet walk in the darkness we lie and do not live by the truth but if we walk in the light and he is in the light we have fellowship with one another and the blood of jesus his son purifies us from all sin just uh, remember this image as we go through this very strange christmas of Jesus is still the light of the world. That has not changed. We choose to walk in the light rather than the darkness and follow him 
and therefore we have fellowship with each other and with God because God mm -hmm. is light in the same way that God is love and mm -hmm. I pray that in the most difficult of circumstances this Christmas we will show love to each other because we've been inspired to by his son Jesus Christ. We're still able to do that over Zoom links and telephone calls and with a few people being able to meet face to face. Let's make sure that we should do it. Mm -hmm. So um, I just want to say bless you this Christmas. May you know God's presence with you. May you know um, the light and the life and the truth and everything that comes through Jesus. And may he be your comfort and your strength with those that you miss. And in the days that will come eventually when we can meet properly face to face, let us value all the more that we're able to be together and that mm -hmm. we still walk in the light and follow Jesus. Amen. 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 Okay. Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas, everybody. Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas. Christmas. Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas, everyone. Have a lovely time. So from everyone at Aussie Road and Bolton Lane and Friends United in Jesus, we say happy Christmas. And we pray that whatever you're doing this Christmas, you will know the love of Jesus Christ, the light that he brings into our life, and that you will see the hope that comes for the future by putting our faith in him. Happy Christmas, everyone.